Hi everyone, um, I saw a lot of traffic on last week's video, thank you for that. If you enjoyed that video, please uh, like and subscribe and do things to connect you to the podcast. I thought I would say that first of all, because some people are here for 30, 60, 90 seconds and then disappear. But that really helps, um, really helps bump things up in ways that I can't even consider. Uh, and then, unfortunately, not every video is like that. I don't always have such a lovely box set to show off. I don't always have a uh, post. Uh, most weeks I do, but sometimes I don't because I'm not a millionaire. Anyway, this video is important stuff. It is about uh, Barbenheimer, the double bill that has swept the nation over the weekend. I have to admit, I was uh, late to see any joy in this trend. I wasn't won over by the early trailers for Oppenheimer. Um, wasn't really digging the hype. Barbie looked like fun, but uh, non-essential fun. Like I don't necessarily have to run to the cinema to see that. Things started to spiral though. Um, the hype started to snowball. I caved in. I do that with um, peer pressure sometimes. I have FOMO. Um, but, you know, I took myself along on Saturday. Just me. Nobody else wanted to come with me. That's fine. I don't mind. By the way, don't bother about feeling embarrassed or um, strange if you go to the cinema alone. It's often the best. You can make your own arrangements. You can treat yourself around the cinema time. You can go to see what you want to see without having to compromise and then back and forth. Uh, it's it's fine. People do it. More people should do it. Anyway, uh, it was my first trip to Tyneside Cinema. I got a bus from Durham to there. Lovely little wander in the pouring rain. But it was nice to see a little bit of Newcastle and then go and, and look around in the Tyneside Cinema. And uh, the first thing I noticed was that my timing couldn't be more perfect. There was a, I think it was Northern Pride parade on. Uh, lots of music, lots of noise, big parade going along. I was going in the opposite direction to find the cinema and then had to cut across the parades. Uh, so lots of people wearing bright colours and a lot of pink anyway. Got to the cinema, a lot of pink in there. I thought, wow, this is, this is really going to be a thing. Turned out that I think that day Tyneside Cinema were also having a Barbie afternoon tea event so people were turning up dressed in pink for that. I was uh, I was doing Oppenheimer first and then Barbie second. I just thought that was the best way to do things. Now I didn't see half and half uh, between the audience split of Oppenheimer and Barbie but there were definitely some other people that had the same ideas. So I saw some uh, people between both screens. But what I did see was a cinema that was really busy, like really busy with every screen. Uh, I think almost every screening of Oppenheimer and pretty much every screening of Barbie was sold out for that weekend, uh, not just for that day. People were going up to the box office and asking, uh, there were, I saw a couple ask about Indiana Jones, which was down to, I think, one screening for the day there. And um, they, they'd missed that. And then we're humming and hang about uh, Barbie. The guy was saying, oh, I'll let you see that. There was a woman and I think a, a daughter or a younger girl with them. Uh, she was unsure. And the lady behind the box office said, well, if you want to, uh, see Barbie then do you know come back when you've decided as quickly as possible because it's all selling out fast I mean that's that's just awesome that's that's kind of what we want uh, to keep cinemas going I know there are many criticisms to be leveled at the cinema experience um, streaming is a great option for people with um, less accessibility and people who have to still be uh, sheltering at home um, cinemas
do have the disadvantage of often placing me within proximity of someone who needs to check the time on their phone every 20 minutes. That happened during Oppenheimer, but I will try to get over that. Um, you know, there, there's a lot to be put against that, not least of which is cost, um, you know, just locality, a, a lot of different factors. But I do think if it was completely gone, I think, I think we'd miss it. Whether it's a chance to watch uh, re-released classics or whether it is a chance to watch uh, new films that feel like they should be seen on a big screen. And if you can get along to your cinema and if you can afford it, um, you know, love or hate the guy, Nolan has again made a film that should be seen on the big screen. It is, it is an experience more than just a, a a film it's a very good film but it really hits you with the um the weight of the subject matter and the just the the constant sort of uh, repercussions from that pivotal moment in history that is being shown like it's it's great really great uh, Killian Murphy is superb in the lead role Robert Downey Jr is also doing the best work he's done in uh, I mean I'm going to say probably since quite a bit before Iron Man uh, it's fantastic so I get that Nolan is often speaking from a position of privilege and doesn't consider people who can't get along to cinemas but he's still you know, within his right to make films for the big screen, and he does that really well. And Oppenheimer is a great big screen experience. Barbie, on the other hand, may not feel as essential to see on the big screen, but um, I tell you something, I had a lot of fun. Okay, most people came in uh, dressed in pink. It was uh, lively in the right ways, just people laughing out loud, people responding to what was on screen in a really positive way. And I kid you not, um, it was the one of the two films that ended with a round of applause from the audience, <laughs> um, which is great. It's a, it's a great feeling. I was almost getting a bit emotional. It was a really lovely cinema. The um, sound and audio presentation seemed fantastic. And just to be there with audiences who were really responding to what was programmed, whether they were sort of going along to make the most of this double bill meme slash gag that had come about from this uh, scheduling or whether they had specific interests in one or the other, people going along and having that much interest in a film at a cinema is really great. I don't think I felt that... Um, since maybe being at a, a film festival screen, whether it's a horror film festival or um, a Edinburgh International Film Festival, um, it's really that sense of communal anticipation for something that you're willing to be as good as you want it to be. Uh, that's lovely. I've already seen a lot of um, discussion and argument on each film and people are completely entitled to their variety of views on those films. What I would say is I've seen a disappointing number of viewpoints expressed from people who haven't seen one or the other film. Uh, people have dismissed Oppenheimer as, um, you know, typical Nolan uh, shtick or um, something that has been watered down for mass blockbuster audience appeal or uh, you know something that doesn't actually take the time to <clears throat> convey the weight of the subject matter at the heart of it. I mean I, th I think all of those things are generally uh, nonsense. Well, I mean, there is some Nolan stick in there, but 
he always has to play with time and and uh, he pumps the audio mix right up but i will say this time around it works also as expected perhaps uh with barbie people are commenting on it being quite the um you know the cash grab from mattel <laughs> the capitalistic um wish fulfillment <sighs> vapid uh insertion into our subconscious or conscious uh that's continually reprogramming us to just want to go out and buy more stuff and they are saying that uh you know barbie has all these flaws anyway as a as a toy as a doll as a figure um they're going on about representation throughout the movie uh you know uh, women of different uh body types and ethnicities and um and and then you get the crybaby uh men child men children men child man child uh who basically think it's uh wanting to turn them all into castrated eunuchs which would be quite a good bonus for those kind of crybaby men children um but again if you haven't seen the film making some of those comments makes it quite clear there is obviously the fact that it is um you know made as a film with a product at the heart of it that is something that i mean it's it's not unavoidable but in the past few years we've had off the top of my head you know super mario brothers uh, lego movies transformer movies resident evil movies based on the games uh let me think nobody liked the playmobile movie but that's there uh gi joe i mean gerwig's previous film little women is based on the book so should she not have made that because that could sell more books no some movies are uh probably more obviously tied to the merchandising and the upselling than others but movies arguably more than any other art form have always been in a way packaged products that's that's what they do and and these films these films doing massively well at the box office we've known this for a long time the successful blockbusters often allow the funding or just the time for the smaller films to be in screens for for even a few days just to get noticed to get some release and then to be packaged eventually on disc or on streaming that's the way the model works it's not perfect and uh, it's certainly a pain in the backside if you go along to your multiplex and let's say there are 10 screens for barbie six screens for oppenheimer and two that are showing a re-release of jungle cruise for some reason and uh, you can't see whatever <clears throat> the latest potential art house hit you want to see uh, there whether it's um the latest one i think dropped on movie is return to soul that i'm looking forward to but you know that is part of the problem but again these films help those other films maybe not directly and maybe not in a way that is immediately obvious but they do uh barbie is great it's smart it's funny if you've not seen it and you have any of the concerns that i mentioned and the kind of stuff i've seen uh commented on from others who haven't seen it it actually addresses most of those things now it doesn't give it a get out of jail free card um not just ticking the boxes to cover itself but it it does it in a way that has has meaning there is meaning to everything in there and i never thought i would be saying this about the barbie movie uh but it does and it's really enjoyable and you know what everybody who's gone along to it 
judging by the audience I was with, has been really enjoying it. And that's kind of what we want from our cinema experiences, right? To go along, enjoy the film, and feel like we've been in a room full of people who have all enjoyed it with us. That's doesn't really matter what the film is. At the end of that experience, that's a great time at the cinema. And that's what I hope keeps happening. And uh, I hope you try it or uh, wait until there's something else that's really grabbed you. But whatever the film is that you next go along to, I hope that you get that enjoyment from your experience. And it's it's rare, but sometimes it comes along. I mean, it does. It's that beautiful thing that reminds you of why we love cinema. And that has happened with Barbenheimer. Until next week.